when I received a call from Stefan and David and as to what was going to happen today. And uh, I embarrassed myself because I was emotionally overwhelmed. And uh, I just want to thank Volkswagen, Stefan, David, Mike, Greg, all of you who have been involved for showing such faith. You know, we've been, we've been through this rodeo before, if you will. This wasn't our first. And I don't think I've ever dealt with people who were more to their word, told us exactly what it was that needed to happen, nor dealt with us in a fair manner. And there's something here in East Tennessee and across this state that we do share in common as it relates to values, and that is keeping our word and doing the things that we say we're going to do. And I want to talk about other values, but I just want to tell you that I truly believe that we have in Volkswagen the very best manufacturing partner that this state and this county and this city could ever have, and I want to thank them so much for being here. You know, this city is known throughout our country, and I, I come across it all the time in my work today, as being a city that has had a vision. And instead of just having a vision, it has made that vision a reality. But there's been one barrier that we have not been able to break through until today. And that was reestablishing ourselves as the Dynamo of Dixie. That was bringing to Enterprise South the kind of partner that we have brought today. And I know we have young people here. One of my daughters is here. I think that what you've seen this community and this state do together will break us through a barrier that we've never been able to break through until today. And I think that this community has no idea and cannot even imagine what that means for our city and for this state for years to come. It's an incredible happening that has occurred. When I decided not to run for mayor for a second term, one of the things that, that kept me still considering was what I felt was the unfinished work at Enterprise South. And it's been such an honor for me, a tremendous honor in my present capacity to work with a team of individuals that, as Ron said, has been seamless to accomplish something that I don't know of a greater event in this community ever in my lifetime. Our governor at a time when, when revenues are down, front page of the paper today talked about our state's revenues falling through the floor, made a commitment, made a commitment years ago with the interchange and then most recently with our state's finances that we will forever be indebted to him for making. And it took a lot of courage and it took a lot of leadership on his part and Matt's part uh, to make this happen. And it has been such a pleasure to work with them. Claude Ramsey, uh, I have to tell you, I'm happy for our citizens. I'm happy for the children and grandchildren of our citizens. But there's nobody in this community that I'm happier for today than Claude Ramsey. You know, we've been criticized heavily for hanging on to this vision of what Enterprise South could be. Uh, the council members and commissioners know that people have talked to us about dividing it up and doing other things. But Claude has held firm, and I'm so glad that he ran again, and I'm so glad that this has happened under his watch. Uh, Ron Littlefield has been his, his wonderful partner. He kept the faith. They took risk. Uh, I guess we would have planted strawberries on the 1,300 acres they cleared. 
Uh, but thanks to the governor and their partnership, uh, they have been an incredible team. And Ron, I'm so happy for you that during your first term as mayor, uh, one of the biggest things that you said you would work on has happened. And we owe you a great deal. <laughs> Lamar Alexander, Lamar Alexander is the father of the automobile industry in our state. In the meetings that we had, his wisdom, his ability to communicate to Volkswagen about what this community is and what a partnership it would be, I think, paid huge dividends. And I thank him so much for the way he leads our state and treats me. And then to... Uh, To Zach Womp, who's been criticized for all of that pork at Enterprise South. <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope all of those people, all of those people who said those things and talked about our efforts together, realize the great high-paying jobs that will be here for generations. Zach, thank you so much for your energy and enthusiasm. <laughs> I've taken longer than my time, but I want to say one last thing. Uh, our Chamber of Commerce. Our community years ago was divided over how we should go about marketing. Should it be traditional? Should we focus on a major manufacturer? Or should we do other things? And a team was put together that I have to tell you, if you would have seen them, in our final presentation, it was all in German, quite boring for me, but quite interesting uh, for them. But the work they have done on behalf of this community, I promise you, would make you all so proud. And we are indebted to Trevor and everybody. It is those things, though, those intangible things that Stefan talked about that I think close the deal, and that is you, and that is this community, and that is their ability to stand here adjacent to the Hunter Museum, as they did with Dr. Heitzman and others, and see what this community has accomplished together and to see what it is about. So to all of you, who've been a part of making this great city what it is. Thank you. To Volkswagen, who shares values with us and will share prosperity to us for years to come, thank you. And certainly, again, to our governor, thank you for making this happen. Thank you.